Welcome to the video, everybody. We're out here. We just got back from our walk, and uh, I had a little haul this morning from one of the thrift stores. Wanted to share it with you for resale on eBay and Etsy. These are old. They just looked real old, and uh, they were $4, which I think I wasted my money, but they're salt and pepper shakers by Aster, and um, they're plated or they're pewter or they're something, but they're not sterling. And I didn't have my loot. There was just a lot of writing, so I just took a chance. But anyway, that's those. That was too much money for those. Two dollars for this uh, vintage. Let's see, oh, that, that didn't pull out. These pull out, and then this one opens this way. I thought that was a real good deal. So hey everybody, there I am, got my cap on. We're out and about. So, I think it's from the 70s, it's in good condition. Uh, well, before I get to the other jewelry box, it's Buxton, and it was $2 as well. I'll open it and show y'all. We've got a celluloid or plastic pen marked Avon. I believe I paid $3 a pen, which is probably too much. This is Mark JJ. I don't know who that is, but how cute is that? Uh, Bluebird of Happiness, two of them. Somebody's going to want that. And this is the, a cat. I'm pretty sure it's unmarked, but it's in really nice condition. So the cat, here we go pretty nice. The swank cufflinks are lapis. Very nice. That's just one of my favorite stones. So here's this one. Uh, $2. Very good condition. Uh, has some darkening there where rings were stuck. But I'm not sure it's, I don't think it's leather, but I'll have to look, and the bottom is very nice as well. Then we got a, I usually don't buy the belts, but it was a dollar, and Klein for Orton Genuine Leather, and it's marked on the buckle. It doesn't look like it's worn. It is small for a petite person. Then I do pretty well on belt buckles. This is $2. It's not vintage, so it's going to have to go on eBay. The Smiths. I don't really know what this is. Meat is murder. I didn't see that when I bought it, but anyway. There's another skull. And I appreciate y'all commenting on my last video that those are actually popular. Uh, $2. Uh, made in China, so that's definitely not vintage. Hateware Incorporated. Well, very strange. Made in the USA, two dollars. I'll have to look that one up. It's a little damage down here. So anyway, that's the haul. And I'll see y'all later on, probably with the jewelry unbagging.